araw sa ating lahat. Nandito naman tayo sa isang makabuluhang talakayan tungkol sa mathematics. At ang ating subject ngayon ay sa grade 11 statistics and probability. At ang ating topic ngayon ay tungkol sa central limit theorem. Ang gusto naman nito ay sampling distribution of the sample mean from an infinite population. At ang lesson to naman ay problem solving from the population. At ang lesson 3 naman ay problem solving from a sample. Kaya kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, huwag mong kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para palagi kang updated sa mga susunod ko ng mga video. Tara na, pag-usapan na natin. Magandang araw sa ating lahat. So, nandito naman tayo sa ating subject sa grade 11, uh, Mathematics, Statistics, and Probability. So, we are now on uh, quarter 3, module 6. And our topic is all about the Central Limit Theorem. Then, this module has three lessons. So, we'll discuss first lesson 1. So, the lesson 1 is all about the sampling distribution of the sample mean from an infinite population. Okay, so let's discuss. So if you want to get a good estimate of a population mean, we have to make n sufficiently larger. This fact is stated in the central limit theorem. Okay, central limit theorem. So if a random sample size n are drawn from a population, then as n becomes larger, the sampling distribution of the mean approaches the normal distribution, regardless of shapes of the population distribution. For a sample of size 30 or more, the sample mean is approximately normally distributed. With the mean or the sample mean is equal to the population mean and the standard deviation or the sample standard deviation is equal to population standard deviation over square root of n. So, nakita nyo ang kaibahan dito. So, this is, this one here, symbol with x subscript x here is the sample mean and this is the population mean. And here, this is a sample standard deviation and this one is the population standard deviation. So, where n is the sample size, the larger the sample size, the better the approximation. So, mas maganda na mas malaki ang ating sample size upang uh, our, uh, our approximation will be better. Okay? So, in a population, the values of a variable can follow different probability distribution. So, this distribution can range from normal, right skewed, left skewed, or when you say Right skewed, that is negatively skewed. And for the right, left skewed is positively skewed. And uniform among other. So, this is the illustration. This is for the normal. This is for the right skewed. This is for the left skewed. And this is for uniform. Regardless of distribution of the population, as the sample size is increased, the shape, of the sampling distribution of the sample mean become increasingly bell shape centered on the population mean. So, gaya nito. This is a bell shape. So, normal distribution have two parameters. So, what are the two parameters in a normal distribution? First is the mean. Second is the standard deviation. As the sample size and increase the standard deviation which is often called the standard error of the sum of the sampling distribution become larger thus the sampling distribution cluster more tightly around the mean okay example number one a population has a mean of 60 and a standard deviation of 5 a random sample of 16 measurement is drawn from this population what would be expected mean 
and a standard deviation of the resulting sampling distribution of the mean. Then we shall assume that the population is infinite. So, as you notice, we want to find the sample mean and the sample standard deviation. Okay, so we'll go back with the formula to find the sample mean and the sample standard deviation. So we have here the formula for, to find the sample mean. Sample mean is equal to the population mean. So therefore, population mean and sample mean is equal. But for the sample standard deviation, to find the sample standard deviation, you must use the population standard deviation over square root of n, where n is the sample size. Okay? So go back to the problem. Solution, so we have our steps. Step number one, identify the given information. So our given information is our population mean is equal to 60. And our population standard deviation is equal to 5. And n is equal to 16, which is our sample size. Okay, step number two, find the mean of the sampling distribution. Okay, to find the mean of the sampling distribution, as we uh, tackle in the formula above, that the sample mean is equal to the population mean. So that's why sample mean is equal to the population mean. So if our population mean is 60, therefore our sample mean is also 60. Okay, so madali lang yun. It's very simple to find the population mean or sample mean because the sample mean is equal to the population mean. Okay, so our sample mean is equal to 60. Now, step number three, find the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. So our standard deviation of the sampling distribution or our sample standard deviation is equal to population standard deviation over square root of n. So our population standard deviation is equal to 5. So 5 over square root of n or n is 16, which is our sample size. So that is equal to 5 over, what is the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4. So 5 divided by 4 is equal to 1.25. So therefore, our, pop, our uh, sample standard deviation is equal to 1.25 and our sample mean is equal to 60. So, yun, hanap na natin ang ating sample mean at ang ating sample standard deviation. Okay. Example number two. The height of male college students are normally distributed with a mean of 68 inches and a standard deviation of 3 inches. So, if 80 samples consisting of 25 students each are drawn from the population, what would be the expected mean and the standard deviation of resulting sample distribution or sampling distribution of the means. So we shall assume that the population is infinite. Okay, solution number one. Solution number one is identify the given information. So given, the given is population mean is equal to 68 inches and our population standard deviation is equal to 3 inches and our n is equal to 25 okay so step number two find the mean of the sampling distribution so it is very easy because sample mean is equal to the population mean what is our population mean our population mean is 68 so therefore our sample mean is also 68 okay so nakuha na natin ng ating sample mean now step number three find the standard deviation of the sampling distribution so, our formula to find the uh, sample mean or sample standard deviation is sample standard deviation is equal to population standard deviation over square root of n. And that is equal to 3, which is our population standard deviation over square root of n. Our sample size is 25. So, therefore, that is equal to 3 over 5 or that is equal to 0 0.6 inches. Okay, so ganyan lang ang pagkuha ng ating 
uh, sample mean at ang ating sample standard deviation.